Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find f of z in terms of z, where f of z is an analytic function u plus iv, and given is 2u plus 3v equal to e power x into cos y minus sin y. As a first part, we are going to do partial derivative with respect to x. So 2ux plus 3vx equal to here y terms are constant. So derivative of e power x is e power x and all the constants stays as it is. Cos y minus sin y is a constant. This is our first equation. Now the equation 2u plus 3v equal to e power x into cos y minus sin x we are going to do partial derivative with respect to y. So 2uy plus 3vy equal to e power x is a constant which stays as it is and partial derivative of cos y is minus sin y and minus sin y is minus cos y. This is our second equation. And now using CR equations we know ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. So this uy can be replaced with minus vx and this vy can be replaced with ux. So now the first equation is written as it is which is 2ux plus 3vx equal to e power x. Let's multiply this e power x into cos y minus e power x into sin y. And here this is uy is minus vx. So minus 2vx plus 3ux equal to when we multiply minus e power x sin y minus e power x cos y. This is our first and second equation. Now we have to make the same coefficient for vx then only we can eliminate. So first equation we are going to multiply into 2 and second equation we are going to multiply into 3. So first equation become 4 ux plus 6 vx equal to 2 e power x cos y minus 2 e power x sin y. Here when we multiply 3 minus 6 vx plus 9 ux equal to minus 3 e power x sin y minus 3 e power x cos y. When we add these two equations we can cancel 6 vx minus 6 vx and if I add this we get 13 ux equal to here we can take e power x throw common and 2 cos y minus 3 cos y is minus cos y and minus 2 sin y minus 3 sin y is minus 5 sin y. So from this we got ux which is e power x by 13 into minus cos y minus 5 sin y. Now ux of z comma 0 will be e power z every x is replaced with z and y is 0 and 13 is as it is cos 0 is minus 1 cos 0 is 1 and there is a minus sign so it is minus 1 sin 0 is 0 so this is minus e power z by 13 in the same way we are going to take the first equation and substitute this ux to get the vx so we are going to use this equation so let us start substituting here so from the first equation here we have 2 ux so 2 ux means this is 2 e power x by 13 into minus cos y minus 5 sin y plus 3 vx 
plus 3 v x equal to e power x cos y e power x cos y minus e power x sin y. Now let us keep this 3 v x here and these terms are written as it is e power x cos y minus e power x sin y this term we shall take to the other side as minus 2 e power x by 13 and this will be minus cos y minus phi sin y. Now we can take e power x common this becomes cos y minus sin y plus 2 cos y by 13 plus 10 sin y by 10 sin y by 13. Now taking LCM, LCM is 13. So 13 cos y minus 13 sin y plus 2 cos y plus 10 sin y. Now we have 3 v x equal to e power x by 13. Adding cos terms we get 15 cos y so adding sin term minus 3 sin y and from this we are going to find 3 v x of z comma 0 this becomes e power z by 13 when y is 0 cos 0 is 1 so we left with 15 and sin 0 is totally 0 and this 3 will be taken to the other side denominator so v x of z comma 0 will be e power z into 15 by 13 into 3 this becomes 5 so totally v x of z comma 0 will be 5 e power z by 13 now coming to f of z which is u plus i v and f dash of z becomes u x plus i v x using Milne Thompson method f of z will be integral u x of z comma 0 d z plus v x of z comma 0 d z plus c. Now we have u x z comma 0 as minus e power z by 13. So this becomes integral minus e power z by 13 dz plus vx is phi e power z by 13. So phi e power z by 13 dz. Now this integration minus e power z is minus e power z by 13 only and phi by 13 is a constant again e power z is e power z only and there is a i term for the second part this is i integral so taking e power z by 13 common we have minus 1 plus phi i and plus c this is our f of z thus we got the required analytic function f of z in terms of z